Welcome, Leo, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, Intuition. And so before I begin, I would like to ring the meditation singing bowl to clear space and energy. So if you're wearing headphones, please lower the vine. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, the nice and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. And let's see. Okay. How does your person currently think and feel towards you at this time? But before I check in with their energy, let's go ahead and check in with you. So spirit... Can you please bring forth my collective Leos into this reading for their thoughts and feelings towards their love interest at this time? Who is the person that they are thinking of in regards to their love? What are their current thoughts and feelings towards their love interest? What can you reveal to me about Leo's thoughts and feelings towards their love interest? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's find out. Okay, so I see that you are possibly holding on to um, this connection. Maybe for some, you've known this person for about four years. Okay, um, also you're trying to uh, re resist uh, some sort of change. So this really t uh, screams to me that um, you are still attached to a particular person. You haven't been able to release and let go of an individual and um, because you really feel like they are your destiny, okay? You definitely feel like some sort of soulmate, maybe a twin flame connection, um, but you definitely feel really good about this person. But for whatever reason, what I'm seeing is that... Um, you don't want to let them go, okay? Um, yeah, look at this. We have here the devil. Maybe for some, you're connected to a Capricorn, but it's like this attachment, okay? Maybe it's an obsession that you have, and um, you really don't know what to do. So maybe you try to release and let go of this particular person, but no matter how much time has passed or no matter whatever you have tried to do, um, there's still like this connection, and... Um, you need help. <laughs> oh, so that's cute. Um, so Leo, so you're, um, you're feeling overwhelmed with this energy. Like you still are holding on to a particular person. You really feel like this is like your soulmate, like someone that you feel destined to at least, um, be with or get to know on a deeper level. Bottom of the deck, we have your three of pentacles in reverse. So, um, you're, you're working by yourself. So I don't feel like you're coupled up with anyone at this time, but you know, regardless if you are or aren't, I see that you're not really putting effort into this connection with this particular person. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how does your person currently think and feel towards you or their thoughts and feelings uh, towards my lovely Leos at this time? What are they currently thinking and feeling? Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that they are trying to let go of some sort of hurt. Um, they really want balance. They want compromise. And I see that um, they're working um, forward, you know, moving forward. But there is a challenge. There could be other people that is in the way of this connection. So I am seeing like your person is in a group or a uh, crowd of people. It could be a family. It could just be like a clique or, you know, just a group of people. And they're kind of like enmeshed into that um that, that lifestyle, that group of people, whatever that means for you. And they really want to really let go of that group of people so that they can come forward towards you. Okay. Um, 
yeah, I see that there is an opportunity for them to manifest a commitment. And, um, you know, maybe they came off as being rude. Okay. Um, maybe this is you that was rude towards them. But um, this is what I'm hearing. So Leo, if your person came off as being rude, um, that's their way of showing you that they uh, love you or <laughs> <laughs> they want to be with you. I know it's counterintuitive. I get it. You know, and that could be the reason why that, you know, you're holding on to a particular person. It's because you you deeply have like this feeling with this individual that you guys are meant to be. Okay. Um, at least that's what it looks like. And also we have here the Emperor. So this could be your twin flame. So they're being inflexible. They're very controlling, very rigid. Maybe they're coming off as, as being a jerk or, you know, being a bee, whatever the case is, like being very bitter, right? But I really feel like there's an opportunity for them to open up. And um, all they need to do is let go of whatever situation that they were holding on to, okay? Um, but I see that they're being defensive, Okay, because they really feel that this relationship with you is um, very dreamy. Okay, very romantic. Um, you know, they they really can't see um, how this relationship could be a solid, grounded partnership. Um, I'm also getting that there could be some sort of jealousy. Um, going on possibly because you guys are not together someone here could be in another uh, commitment or relationship and um, hence there could be some tension maybe with a third person or a karmic partner who is sensing the energy of this particular person who wants to let them go so they can open towards you but I feel that if they have been um, kind of stuck up or you know just showing up you know, when you know deep down inside that they're a cute, cuddly teddy bear. Um, yeah, it's all a front, okay? And I mean that in uh, their whole negative, um, you know, uh, confrontational style energy. Because deep down inside, I have a feeling like this person adores you. Okay, Leo, that's what I'm seeing. Now, let me go ahead and see what are the energies between the two of you. So, Sperry, can you please reveal to me thoughts and feelings of Leo and their love interest towards one another? And um, what is the intention of both parties? And what is the outcome? What can you tell me about this connection between Leo and their love interest? So, yeah, your person is clearly thinking about the past and they are going slow as molasses, okay? They're being very practical, very conservative. Um, and I see that with you, you're very compassionate. And, um, you know, I feel like you want to heal this connection. You want to be supportive of them, you know, even though that things are going really, really slow. Um, how do you guys feel? Okay, so your person um, either has a third party or there's a third party with you and they're having trust issues, okay? And that could be the reason why they are holding on to the, the group of people or whoever that they are in, um, in a vibrational uh, energy with, with, I want to say the karmic, okay? And that's why you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do, but you're holding on. So again, I really feel like for the ones that are watching this reading, um, Leo, you are in love with somebody that you can't have at this moment. Okay, I'm just going to have to put it out there. That's what it looks like. And I feel like your person is in some sort of other situation. And I see that the interest is mutually there. Um, it's just that somebody here needs to get out of a karmic relationship. Okay, um, they're holding on for, um, I want to say for the wrong reasons, you know, um, it could be financial and that's what I'm saying. So what is the intention? So your person does intend to um, really move uh, on from the karmic relationship, but um, they, they don't feel really good. So I just have a feeling like this isn't the right time for them to uh, break free from the karmic. And with you, you're feeling conflicted. 
you don't see much change going on with this particular person. So I really feel like for majority of my Leos, you know, you are dreaming of this person whenever uh, they uh, are free um, so that you would have the opportunity to be with them. Okay, but also you feel like you're not good enough because they're not choosing you at this time. I would say, Leo, try not to be so hard on yourself. You know, make sure you take care of your needs, you know, um, you know, go out for a nice dinner. Make sure you treat yourself, you know, to really nice things um, because whoever this person is, um, they're just not ready yet. Okay. I really do feel like it's a divine time situation, but at least with this collective of Leo's and your love interest. Now in the outcome, I see that, um, maybe for the past three years, okay, they have been working alone. Okay. I feel like even if they were tethered to a karmic partner, um, there was no attraction in that relationship. I really feel like they're just with them for financial reasons. Okay. Maybe you've known um, this particular person for the past three or four years, because that's what I'm seeing here, but it doesn't have to be. But after a period of three years, I see that they will try to make something happen. They are in the planning stages from what I can see to have a new beginning, you know, with themselves and also with you. Now with you, you doubt it. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're, um, you're in this reality. You're like, yeah, I don't see it happening. And, um, you're blaming it on the karmic. I would say, you know, Everyone has a karmic contract. Nobody is perfect. Everyone has, um, you know, their free will to exercise how long, you know, they learn their lessons with karmic relationships or whatnot. But also, um, that's why I say earlier on, you know, for you, Leo, you know, make sure you take care of yourself and not, you know, put your life on hold for this particular person. Um, I see that eventually they will come through, but they have to complete their karmic cycle before they can open up towards you. I definitely do feel like there's a potential that you guys will get together because um, there is this sense of familiarity between the two of you, especially they're living in the past um, from what I can see. Okay, they're just going at it at a really snail's pace. So let's see, um, what are the messages that your person would like to say towards you at this time? Spirit, what is uh, the message that your love interests want to say towards you at this time? What is the message? What is the message that your love interests would like to say to you at this time? wow like this is your card it's the sun and it says life is wonderful thrive through the power of positive thinking and expiring success so stay positive you know um if you're going to be negative about it try not to be okay like if you have doubt that your person is trying to break through and have a new beginning i mean give them the benefit of the doubt okay um let me see here yeah they're feeling stuck you know they do feel like the victim but they are going to do whatever it takes they're just like i don't know like you know be positive that you know they are strong enough to do it and with you you're at a stalemate so i really feel like for my leos um you're just being real or realistic and you know just because this person isn't doing it fast enough doesn't mean they never will you know um and also don't let ego get in the way of your um you know i guess your personal beliefs that this person will never like let go of the karma because i see that eventually that they will you know they're working on it i mean this is like the beginning stages from i can see you know, so if you're really in a very positive, then you can actually help manifest the uh, positive action of this person uh, trying to do whatever it takes. But um, if you're downing this person's energy, then um, they may also second guess themselves. Just remember that we're all interconnected and energy is fluid. Okay, it can transfer from one person to the next without even speaking a word. So just be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Okay. So 
let's go ahead and see um what is the guidance so spare what is the guidance message that you have for leo at this time what is the guidance thank you what is the guidance okay yeah <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is a blue moon. Okay. And it says, believe in the impossible. So try not to be pessimistic, really be optimistic and have faith that they will break free. Okay. Even though that they're slow as molasses. So that's what I have. I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.